breathing dirty air is bad for human health, negatively affecting the heart, lungs, and brain. Recognition of this fact has caused many countries in the developed world to take legislative action and adopt policies to clean up their air. But many developing countries face very high levels of air pollution from a combination of man-made and natural sources. And surprisingly, we still know very little about what these high exposure levels mean for health, particularly where other threats to health, such as from poor nutrition to infectious diseases, loom large. How important is the harm caused by air pollution relative to these other factors? Answering this question is also hard. In most poor countries, air quality monitors are unavailable. Existing measures underestimate the contribution of biomass burning to local air pollution. So how can we get a more accurate picture of the problem? In new research, we combine air quality measurements obtained from satellites with household survey information on nearly a million births across 30 sub-Saharan African countries. All this data allows us to separate the role of air pollution from the many other factors that also affect infant health. So far, we've made sobering discoveries. We find that exposure to microscopic particulate matter is responsible for more than 20% of infant deaths in Sub-Saharan Africa, and that this exposure led to about 400,000 excess infant deaths in our 30 study countries in 2015 alone. Our research shows that the health burden of poor air quality is perhaps twice as large as existing estimates. And, unlike many other environmental factors, air pollution appears to affect poor and wealthy households equally. But it also suggests the potential impacts of policy action are large. Compared to other popular health interventions, like vaccines and nutritional supplementation, modest reductions in exposure to particulate matter, as achieved by wealthy countries, would have major beneficial effects. Our research suggests that finding cost-effective ways to improve air quality could yield huge health benefits in some of the poorest parts of the world.